Welcome back to their Marvel Snap video. Today we're going to talk about more Series 3 cards to be keeping an eye out for in your token shop. In the previous video, we talked about five generically powerful cards that slot into a variety of archetypes. Today, we're going to go a little bit in the opposite direction. My five recommendations today are a little bit more narrow and specific, but they also generate more unique play patterns and kind of stand out in a different space than any of the other cards do in Marvel Snap. So here are my top five five recommendations for cards that generate unique play patterns in Marvel Snap that could be worthwhile pickups in your token shop. Patriot, with the ongoing effect of your cards with no abilities have plus two power, lets you leverage cards in your collection that you can't in any other meaningful way. Things like Shocker and Hulk that are normally just okay suddenly are fantastic when they are above rate with two additional stats there's a number of ways to approach building a patriot deck as well if you're into things that are less fair ultron can be a combo style top end that allows you to flood the board with drones that are souped up on the back of patriot speaking of souping things up one thing to keep in mind if you're interested in building patriot decks is that in addition to the namesake here you're also going to want to consider picking up a copy of mystique because her doubling up the ongoing effects of something like Patriot makes it twice as potent, meaning you're more likely to swing those games in your favor. Up next, we have one of the goodest boys Marvel Snap has to offer in Lockjaw. When you play a card here, swap it with a card in your deck. This allows you to turn extra little things into extra big things in a way that is very fun and satisfying in my experience. The thing that I really enjoy about Lockjaw is the fact that Marvel Snap's small deck sizes often make this card that has variance by design be calculated in a way. You can look at the cards that you have on the board and in your hand and know that when you're playing something out to Lockjaw, your odds of getting a particular outcome are within a certain range. Lockjaw definitely excels if you have some extra cheap cards to go with it, which is why Wasp or potentially Yellow Jacket are other cards to keep an eye out for in your collection if you want to pick up Lockjaw and leverage it to its maximum effect. Up next, we have one of the most truly unique deck building exercises in Marvel Snap, and that is Agatha Harkness starts as an additional card in your hand and then makes your plays for you. So the deck building idea behind this one is you're essentially trying to construct a deck in a way that the AI can mess it up as little as possible. The most important thing to note is that if Agatha can play herself, she always will, which means if you can get her into play or get her out of your hand in some manner, you can take back over control of the game. This means that generally speaking, Wave here is a must play alongside Agatha, Wave makes all the cards in your hand cost four the following turn, meaning if Agatha plays Wave on turn three, she's going to guaranteed play herself on turn four, giving you control of the game for the fifth and sixth turn while being up this incredibly statted six drop somewhere randomly on the board. Cerebo probably has some of the best deck building puzzles in Marvel Snap. Ongoing, your highest power cards get plus two power. This means if we construct our deck in a manner that all of our cards in play have the same highest power, they'll all benefit for Cerebro's bonus, meaning this three energy play often turns into double digits worth of extra power on the board. You'll frequently hear Cerebro decks described as a Cerebro 2, 3, 4, 5, N power Cerebro deck, signifying what power that Cerebro deck is looking to leverage. I think this card definitely has the most deck building depth of any of the ones that we have here featured today. And it's one that's only going to continue to expand its range as more cards at every stat line are added to the Marvel Snap roster. Similar to Patriot, I think Mystique is a must play if you're pairing with Cerebro, though. Being able to get not just plus two, but plus four on everything that you have in play is a huge difference maker. Finally, if you're looking for a deck that plays out very differently and also very powerful, look no further than Mr. Negative. On reveal, swap the power and cost of all cards in your deck. This means Mr. Negative thrives in deck lists full of low power, high energy cards to create big swings in the final turns of the game. Now, something to note is that Negative is only inverting cards in our deck, meaning every card we draw after we play him has an incredible amount of 
relative value, which is one of the reasons why I consider Psylocke to be a must-have card if you are playing with Mr. Negative. She gives you an extra energy as you go into that third turn, meaning you can Mr. Negative a full turn earlier, thus getting more value from drawing more cards that he has inverted in his incredibly powerful manner. If you'd like some suggestions on how I would approach building decks around any of these cards, be sure to check the video description down below for some deck highlights featuring each of them. Hopefully this video today gave you some fantastic ideas on different things you should be watching out for to expand the range of your Marvel Snap collection in terms of the gameplay patterns that it offers. Remember as always, if you enjoyed my suggestion to tap that like button, if you think there's a sweet Marvel Snap card with a unique gameplay style that other people should know about that I missed on this list, be sure to leave that in a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching all the way through to the end of the video. Consider subscribing. I post Marvel Snap tips like this as well as deck highlights and other news here seven days a week, and we'd love to see you back again. Enjoy the rest of your day as always, folks. Thanks for being one of the awesome people that made it all the way to the end of the video. Remember, your likes and comments help videos grow with engagement, and be sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. I post Marvel Snap game news, updates, deck highlights, and other fantastic stuff here seven days a week. We hope to see you back again real soon.